here, basically. Hello, I'm Alan Matthews, and welcome to my 1998 BMW M3 video, which I've made to uh, allow me to tell you something about the car, so if you're looking at buying it, uh, you can learn what I've done to it. It's a Techno Violet, uh, it's been looked after, it's uh, been in the Northeast for a while. Um, it's in uh, great shape, the wheel rims uh, are a little bit scuffed up. Um, I've not put new wheels on because I assume that the new buyer will want to do that. Uh, paintwork's all in fantastic shape, as you can see here. Currently registered in Miami Beach, Florida, which is where the video was taken. Let's have a look at uh, the hard top uh, off and the soft top going up and down. Let's go for a road test. Generally have a look at the car and I'll hand over to myself. For, the, for this part. So I'll talk more when we're inside. I want to show you how easy it is to take the top off my M3. It comes with the stand. And to take the top off, we just lift it like this. Right. And it goes back on the same way. And then these two red clutches back here would have been the uh, clutch of mm -hmm. uh, Just close and then latch the hood on. And that's as simple as that. Now we'll go for a drive. So um, I have here a uh, new uh, Alpine stereo system I put in. It's uh, Bluetooth capable, uh, both audio and uh, telephone. So I bought my M3 in 1998 when it was new in uh, Norwood near Boston and uh, it just didn't have enough power. It's uh, 230 uh, horsepower stock and uh, didn't really go the way I expected an M3, certainly the way that BMW were advertising it, uh, that it should go. So I talked to BMW and they uh, recommended the uh, DNAN chip. So I put the DNAN chip in and uh, I didn't even notice a difference. <laughs> uh, these people are selling smoke and mirrors. It does nothing. So uh, I looked around and I found uh, an engineering shop down uh, here in Miami, South Miami, Active Auto Work, who have an engineering department and they do their own work to uh, put an intercooler, a turbocharger, a um, lot of blueprinting of engines. I was really impressed with the CAD work they were doing. So I spent about uh, 25,000, uh, the car was about 50 in those days, and uh, so it was about 75,000 overall. And they put a stage two turbocharger in, the Mitsubishi 3000 turbocharger, uh, with full electronic control wastegate. And uh, then we also did other mods to uh, bring the car up to the equivalent spec on the braking side with uh, larger uh, calipers, uh, racing brakes, and um, also to improve, increase uh, cooling to the engine. Uh, we put an aluminum radiator in. Uh, that was all back in 1998, and then um, about uh, seven years later, I guess in 95, 96, I decided that it was time for a, a, an upgrade. So I installed a, a complete new set of uh, rubber everywhere, hoses, uh, even the, uh, uh, the sills and the rubber on the door, and 
uh, everything was replaced then and um, we sort of brought it back up to spec. And then most recently, just uh, now, just as I'm looking to sell the car, I decided to uh, do the same thing again. So another 5,000 in and a uh, complete replacement of uh, bushings, a variety of things just to bring it uh, completely back up. It has uh, less than 40,000 miles on the clock, 39,773 now. It's uh, not done many miles, although it's been in the northeast, it's been reasonably garaged, but there's probably a little bit of rust on it. Uh, the condition of the seats, a little bit of wear, we can uh, look at that shortly. But um, overall it's in great shape and uh, it's a rocket ship uh, when uh, you put your foot down. That turbocharger brings uh, 472 horsepower uh, to the wheels and, um, and it's really uh, a, great, uh, it's a great thing. So the car is driving fantastically, um, it's, it's really great. The uh, uh, gauges here, mixture gauge and the uh, turbo gauge, this is turbo boost, which I'll explain in a moment. And um, let's go for a quick trip on the uh, freeway. So here we are on our road test, and uh, there's a fair amount of traffic down here in Miami, so I can't really do a lot of acceleration. Of course, you can't feel the acceleration, but uh, you can hear the engine, you can see the road count. And um, the uh, boost gauge over here, when you point over here, this gauge. So this is the uh, boost gauge here. This gauge here is the boost gauge, and uh, with the turbocharger installed, the uh, zero pounds of pressure represents uh, sea level, atmosphere, and actually we happen to be at sea level. So that would be uh, 32 pounds of pressure at zero. And every additional pound is the uh, turbo pumping air into the uh, uh, cylinders at increased pressure than sea level. And we can get up to about 12 pounds of boost, uh, which provides tremendous acceleration. That represents about uh, 470 to 480 horsepower. And um, that really gives you a kick in the back uh, when you put your foot down. There's uh, just a smooth acceleration all the way from zero all the way to 12 pounds of boost, uh, which provides us with uh, really good acceleration and uh, certainly easy to get into the uh, illegal zone. And we have to be careful not to do that. So um, we're going to get off here anyway and uh, we'll uh, connect on the way back. So driving the BMW and driving the Ferrari, I can tell you the BMW is just about as good as the Ferrari in many aspects. It's not a Ferrari, but it is a BMW, and it's a 470 horsepower. It's more than 458 horsepower, which this uh, California gets. So um, you can have as much fun with uh, my BMW as uh, you can with this Ferrari California. Have fun. And there's a full spare in the trunk as well. All the documentation and two keys uh, come with the car. So beyond the initial uh, installation of the turbocharger and the racing brakes, the suspension, uh, both front and rear struts uh, that were uh, installed, there have been two other major renovations that have been performed on the car. Uh, I mentioned the first one, uh, incidentally, I mentioned 1995-96, uh, of course that was 2005-2006. Actually, it was actually 2006, March and April 2006, where I uh, spent $12,000. Um, having lived in the Northeast, uh, some parts have become rusted and I replaced those. So the, uh, uh, the turbocharger and the wastegate uh, were completely um, taken down and um, uh, cleaned and uh, replaced, uh, uh, put back up, including uh, all of the uh, rubber, as I mentioned, the hoses, uh, radiator, upper lower hoses, heater hoses, water pumps, thermostats, um, all of the uh, uh, rubber components, basically, including the door trims as well. Uh, and additionally, uh, the AC was uh, replaced as well. I really decided to bring it sort of by, back up to brand new specs again. And uh, the brakes were also done, and uh, a new uh, differential uh, kit was put on the back. A new wastegate on the turbocharger was done as well, and uh, it was also fully serviced. Um, also, the paintwork was updated as well. I've mentioned just recently the uh, recent um, uh, 
um, the six thousand dollar renovation that was done, um, which was the uh, camshaft bearing and the rear bushings, the front bushings, and uh, the sway uh, bars in the front as well. The sway bars actually are interesting. They were uh, uh, completely replaced and uh, uh, reinforced because uh, the sway bars have in the past uh, come uh, loose under heavy cornering. Um, I had it on the track once and they came loose and then one at a time they came loose as well. So they have been uh, reinforced. New sway bars have been installed, sway brackets, and uh, they've been uh, double welded to provide extra reinforcing. Overall, the car is in great shape. Look forward to uh, having you as an owner.